Hi, this is Trang and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to have a look at the Tory Burch Bryant foldable card case. If you guys are looking for this item, I'm going to show you guys the tag so you can find it. Style number 34032. The color is Light Oak 205. Bryant foldable card case. Suggested retail is $125 pre-taxed. But I do suggest that you wait for it to go on sale or try to find one on eBay that's new because as you know with um, these lower uh, fashion houses in terms of luxury fashion houses they're on the lower totem pole they will not retain their retail value so um, paying full price for them is not in my opinion it isn't really worth it and here's why so when I first got the case um, online it looks very luxurious and I debated uh, whether I should get this version or the full-on pebble leather because I thought it looked like almost like a soft lambskin and I was afraid of um, the corner wear because this is gonna go into you know different bags and jackets and things like that but when I received the case it feels very coarse let me do a close-up so you guys can see there we go. The leather, it's not supple. It's very coarse. It feels almost like plastic. Okay, the only part that feels like real leather is the sides and the bottom. This piece feels like leather. Everything else, I can honestly say, it feels like plastic. Um, I do like this case because it's very functional. It has a slot. You can fit three cards in here, but I always just carry an ID and my most used credit card in there. It's a snap closure and the snap is very strong. It's almost like a Chanel wallet on chain type of snap where even though it's small snap is very stable. Inside I have about three hard card, which can be your credit card, debit card, driver license whatever and then I have about four or five soft cards so my um, health insurance cards and things like that so four or five soft card equals about three hard card in total I would say this comfortably fits one two three if I need an extra card four or five and then three more about eight hard card card at least and then a slot for the key you have a really nice Tory Burch gold foiling stamp right there. Their signature lining, which feels like polyester. <laughs> and then this key flop. One thing I do like about this key flop is the, um, the smaller size of the ring. It makes it very easy to put inside, especially because my key are already so bulky. If the key flop is huge, uh, that would be a little bit problematic. One thing I have to warn you guys though is this is so 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 tight when I first got it I had to use a plier and it took me 15 minutes to insert the key um, But once it loosened you wouldn't need to remove your key for anything so it should be fine And for those of you who care about where a product is made Mine was made in Vietnam my native land um, You know nowadays a lot of things are made in China so it was nice to see that you know this wasn't so that's about it it is really really cute fits a lot of stuff and to show you guys how convenient this is on a normal day-to-day -day basis I only need my driver license you know these things my key and one lipstick this is you know your Chanel lipstick I'm gonna put three different sizes out here so a small size, a medium size, and a larger size. So we're gonna put the big one and the small one and see if it closed. And it comfortably closed just fine. So you can take this out to the market or something and you'll be good to go. A lipstick, a second lipstick, or even a lipstick and a lip balm. And if you need like two bulky lipstick, that will fit as well. There we are. There we go. Oh, didn't close it yet. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
The dimension on this card case is four and a half by three by one and a half if it's completely filled. If it's not filled, then you can um, make it a little bit thinner. It'll probably go down to about one inches. So this is my current situation and I really love it. Like I said before, I had um, a Coach ID wallet, which is really nice. It was really convenient to pull my ID out. I wish that this Tory Burch one would have a curved opening because right here, you know, it, it, it's not that big of a deal, but it would be easier for you to withdraw your card if there was a curve. I was really used to the convenience of this one. But it only had one gusslet on uh, one side, so I couldn't put my key inside because all of the medical cards and things would go in here and there was no space. So I'm gonna let this one go because I believe in the one in one out idea where if you purchase something new, you need to let something old go so you don't accumulate clutter. So this is going on eBay. And I'm just gonna enjoy this for now. Let me give you guys a close-up shot of the stitching. Okay, another thing I was worried about when I first purchased this item, I was thinking, uh, should I get like a smooth, smooth texture all across, or should I get the stitching? The stitching looks really nice, but I was afraid that over time it would pop out and things like that. But now that I've gotten it and I've seen that the leather is almost plastic-like, and the stitching, it looks like it has... Um, wax or something on it it's more durable than i thought so i'm not as worried and with the hardware i still have the plastic on it and i need to take it off i know Ooh, and my nails be looking ratchet mm. but yeah with the gold hardware i've read a lot that over time it will tarnish or discolor and become silver so for that reason i try to pick um, a piece that didn't have as much gold hardware if this were too discolored I don't think people would notice it I don't think I'll even notice it because it's gonna spend a lot of time just in my bag you know yes yes I do like the feel of this I don't know why the rest of the bag feels so mm, faux leather vegan leather almost oh it just feels really hard you know oops Oh, I accidentally took the little plastic off, so I guess it's meant to be. All right, for those of you who is looking for a case that can house Keat, I hope you would give Tory Burch a try. If you're able to get it on sale, I don't think it's that bad. And quality versus price, I think it's pretty decent. Um, I didn't get the Kate Spade one because they're edging this part right here and was so flimsy. I've seen some where the edging just, you know, on the part that it closes like right here, where it bends a lot, that thing is completely worn off. So that's why I didn't pick Kate Spade. And I didn't pick Chanel because the, most of the Chanel card cases um, don't have the key ring. And those that have the key ring, the key ring is hanging on the outside. And like I said, I, did, I was looking for something that can house the key so it wouldn't scratch my bag. Um, I look into a six key ring holder before, but I wanted something that also houses my credit card. Um, once I started using the Coach ID, I realized how convenient it is to always have your key and your credit card in one place. So there was only a couple fashion house that carried something like that. I think LV carried the Empreinte um, case, but it had the zipper in the back and that was extremely inconvenient. I didn't want to unzip something to get my card, especially, you know, I use my credit card all the time. Uh, let's see, what other brand did I look into? Yeah, that was, I think that was, oh no, I look into Ferragamo too. They have, um, it's called a card case, but it also has a ring. It's really, really pretty. But I missed out on it twice. And that one is about, I think it's $350 pre-tax. And so I missed out on a good opportunity to get it for $180. But it was meant to be. That one, the hardware sticks out just a bit. And I was a little bit worried. I was apprehensive on getting it, even though it was a good deal. 
uh, when it was available because I was like, I don't know if that little piece that stick out at the end will scratch my bag. And this um, Tory Burch one, see how flush it is? And the part that does stick out, it's very rounded. So it wasn't going to scratch anything and the price made me feel comfortable. It was, like I said, only $56 on eBay. For something that sits in your bag, you know, I don't... I don't know. I didn't need it to be ultra luxury. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, another thing. Um, if you look at a similar models, you might notice some of them has a zipper on the inside for coins. I didn't choose that version because I really hate coins. I really do. Like in America, it's so annoying. Everything is something something point ninety nine cent. Like a penny doesn't make any difference. You know. So just make it an even number. Don't give me back pennies and nickels and dimes. Like, oh, I hate it. That's one of the reasons why I don't carry cash because I hate change so much. So if you are a person that don't need to carry change, this can literally be your wallet and key holder in one. And it's like uber, uber convenient. If you do need to have change with you, you might want to get the wallet version because that one um, has the inside zipper for your coins. All right, that's it. If you guys find this review helpful, please like the video and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye-bye.